Welcome back. I had a couple of requests that I wanted to roll into one on this video. Cruel Dragon asked for multiple types of prints, like a chess set or different pieces. And Eric Ants requested an ant to be printed. No surprise there. So I found this file on printables. It's a Big Ant by Tommy Cedarland. And it's cut into multiple parts so that everything can print without supports. I scaled it up 200% and printed it at 0.32 layer height, just the standard stock profile. I am still using the 0.6 nozzle that is the stock that comes with the XL. I did place an order yesterday. I saw that they became available for different sizes and I did order another 0.6 nozzle because of all your comments about the carbon fiber. So I'm going to keep just kind of a dedicated nozzle just for that one. Anyway, this print took about nine minutes to complete the auto Z calibration and to heat up till it would start to print. The first layer on this seems extremely quiet. It is moving pretty slow, but it is a lot of pieces. And the first layer took about 20 minutes to print the entire thing. The entire print took about seven hours. You can start to see all of the different pieces take shape. There are antennas, legs for both sides, and then the head and two parts of the body are those ones that take a little bit longer. Those are a lot taller. So I was really curious to see how much stringing there would be in between everything, um, especially on those taller pieces, but I really didn't see any stringing in between parts. I do see just a little bit of stringing on the head right here. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty impressed and overall the there's a little bit of ghosting here and there But for being printed at 0.32 layer height, I think it turned out really nice On other printers I've printed with the PEI sheet. I'm not really used to the satin sheet but It seems like things either stick really well or they just pop off immediately I know that it has a reason for these magnets to be so stiff, but it's still really difficult to remove this build plate. Okay, so here are all the pieces together. This print finished late at night and I was anxious to see how everything would fit. So the shadows are pretty rough because it's so dark outside. The legs fit snugly enough. I didn't feel like I needed to glue them, but gluing the ant head was very difficult. The back end glued fine. Um, I wanted to make sure that everything lined up really well, and it did. But I, every time I moved this, I would break the head off of it. Uh, I tried different types of glue. I held it for different time frames, and I just broke it again and again. So to secure it better, my husband added a screw, and we filled that with glue. Then I pulled the file for the ant head into Tinkercad and added a hollowed out area that was about a quarter inch diameter and a half inch tall. I reprinted this new ant head that slipped right over the screw on the neck and we added more adhesive and it worked great. So this is how it looks all together. It's about 14 inches long and from foot to foot it's about 12 inches wide. Looks kind of a cool little monster. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.